welcome to the video by DJ's PRC. I want to show you what I use to discharge my batteries. I do have a charger. My charger does do discharge rate, but the bigger batteries I have, like this 4500 six cell from Team Great Hobbies, and I do have other batteries, uh, even have smart batteries I can use this on. I have uh, more than, I got 7,200 batteries. I have multiple chemistry of batteries. But the biggest problem is, let's say I charge my battery up, go play, and I break a machine. Now I have multiple batteries left that's not discharged. Put it back on the charger. It takes a couple hours. Because half of the chargers out there will charge up to maybe an amp or two. This guy here will discharge up to 6 amp. This is the FD100 from ISDT. It's called a smart discharger. They do make the FD200. And if I remember correctly, it discharges up to 10 amps. Now what comes in the box is a metal box. <clears throat> Has a fan on one end. This is for your computer if you want to change some settings inside the machine itself. You have an uh, air exit and the main connector on it. It has an XT60. Now how this guy works is basically I made myself a converter. With two banana plugs. And plug in my positive. Plug my negative, bring my battery over. And basically, the only thing you do is you plug it in the correct way. These are tight. And first thing you do, press any of the, the, the buttons itself. You'll see it, uh, it's a little bit harder to see because of the studio lights are on. And now it's beeping me. And if you guys can see it, because it knows this is not a 2S. We'll bring it to a 6. It'll do it up to even an 8S. And I don't know if you guys can hear it. The fan starts, and the reason there is a fan inside of it, I'm just gonna bring this down here to the five amps, it'll shut down the fan, is an element, heating element. Basically, it heats up, discharges your battery, and the fan's there just to keep it cool. Uh, after a while using it, you'll notice the box will come hot you could even use it as a small uh, heater. <laughs> you could. You're, sh you're stuck somewhere or you're out of power. Put yourself in a small room. This could be yourself a good heater. But again, once it's finished, the status LED will stop blinking. And go solid and will beep at you. Last time I did this battery here at 4,500, <clears throat> six amp, I think it took roughly maybe an hour to discharge this guy here. If I will put it on my charger, probably would take in maybe four to five hours to discharge it. It's not something that will discharge your battery like an instant. Unfortunately, it will take at least an hour, again, depending on your capacity. If you put a smaller battery at 2200, it might take half an hour to discharge it, or even less at 6 amp. Or, if your battery has one of the dead cells in it, you can plug onto this guy here, and basically you can leave it outside. If something happens, at least your, nothing else gets really damaged. But this guy will take care of it, discharge it completely 
uh, to the point that's program inside. Now, if you do grab the programmer, you can tell it what kind of voltage you want to be. Right now, if I remember correctly, it's set up at, uh, I'm trying to remember here, I think it's 3.8 per cell. But again, in the software, you can change that. Let's say you want to bring it completely to zero, it will do it. And this is the ISDT FD100 Smart Charger. Now, if you guys have any questions about this guy here, post them below. I'll be gladly answer you guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching.